four, three, two, one. Cue music. Welcome to Be Kind, Let's Rewind, the nostalgia podcast no one asked for, with your hosts, Chris, Leaf, and Shadwick. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Be Kind, Let's Rewind, the nostalgia podcast that no one asked for. This week, we're actually Nobody. changing it up a bit, and we're going to be talking about things from the 90s. I actually found a list online, uh, also like one of those MSN sites, guys, you know, where they just have like... 400 headlines of stuff for some reason that you've clicked on in the past uh so normally i would be like hey i'm gonna give this list credit but you were on that website so you know what you did we're just stealing your shit so anyway uh how's it going this week guys shadwick how's the uh recovery coming uh, i'm alive i'm a little a little more a little more alive than last week nice nice Excellent. lid by the way nice lid very yes. good thank you very for that. Good. Oh, that was my Recovery gift. <laughs> it was a nice little. I got a nice little Superman hat. Yeah, matched like myself it. with a treat yourself Deadpool hat. So mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, good times. Uh, great uh, old. Leaf, leaf yours is in the mail. Yeah, <laughs> it'll it'll be there soon. It's uh, Aquaman. So you better um, not be Professor A. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! It's even worse than Professor A. <laughs> Come on, it's a, man. It's a. It has uh, seahorses on it. Yeah. There's literally <laughs> no Aquaman fans. There's none, dude. <laughs> Oh, oh, your hat, some fish. Your hat was your hat was very cheap. <laughs> yeah, it was. Actually, they, gave, they paid us to take it. Man, Leaf, how you been doing? I know you're about to uh, you're you're working, get things in order before you go to Japan. <laughs> so <laughs> it's absolutely true. Yeah, we're we're finalizing our. Um, our actually, we just finalized all of our flights and all nice. of the hotels. It's a done deal. Now I just got to show my fat ass up on Tom, which you know is the actual Ooh, struggle. Ooh, baby. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I, hope, so. I hope somebody told you it's two hours earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, I mean, your wife knows the deal. She knows how to get you there on time. She does. <laughs> so she that's does. exciting, man. That's pretty badass. Wait, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we'll, we'll keep this uh, a little bit short. The one thing I did, we talked a little bit off air. Um, I've been noticing at work, too, with... That we've had a lot we've got a lot of contractors that come in and out the uh, low-hanging fruit jokes uh are and maybe i'm just old and grumpy now but god damn i'm fucking sick of them and uh, just for a low-hanging fruit joke it'd be something to the effect of like y'all ever seen that show naked and afraid <laughs> that's me and my wife in bed <laughs> <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, god damn me for even giving anyone ever a courtesy laugh i'm terrible at that and i need to stop i'm part of the problem i'm a yeah. monster i wanted to be caught wait in that scenario which one's afraid oh it'd obviously be my wife <laughs> what are you kidding obviously obviously well, I, thought I just i just imagine i uh, imagine someone else telling the joke i guess oh yeah would, no in that scenario the dude weighs 400 pounds right yeah uh it would be funny if the woman was afraid it'd be funnier because you it just would assume. be funnier but uh, you know this guy you know the ozempic stuff but anyway uh he's got a touch of diabetes but he's handling it well so uh <laughs> i still maintain that's the words of that song i agree we'll clip it in right now i have type 2 diabetes but i manage it well it uh, <laughs> Leave. You said you would go on a little bit of a small rant on this, don't you? Do you feel strongly about it? You mentioned the dad jokes, right, dude? So, like the lo so low hanging fruit is nothing is nothing but another term for like for puns, and they're always there. Everybody knows they're there. It's just like mm -hmm. a certain class of human beings that tend to to just latch onto them like yeah, nonstop, and dude, it just grinds you down. And I'm a, I'm an I am a pun enjoyer just like most of us are. Yeah, they can be really fun. Hell, in fact, if most of our jokes are puns, right? But that being said, it's just, dude, when you overuse them and that that's your whole repertoire a, of jokes. There's an art to it too. Like you know, there is. like Norm Macdonald mm. can tell you the cheesiest, stupidest joke, 
but he's so fucking good that it's hilarious mm-hmm. and makes you laugh every time. And then there's the 400 pound fat fucking guy that I heard in the hall today. <laughs> <laughs> Not Norm Macdonald. So <laughs> far from it, in fact. Far from it. So. So, so, so I just thought of a dad joke. All right, I like it. I've not heard it before. There's a little boy holding up the line, going off to an airplane because he's act- asking the flight attendant where he can put his baseball glove. And she says, carry on, sir. Show's over. See you guys next week. I actually feel my blood pressure (laughs) rising during during that because I just knew the payoff was going to be ass. Shadow just cuts to Chris Farley. (laughs) (laughs) He running down his leg. Oh, the bad thing is that came out of my head. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna need a drink. Well, speaking of that, let's go ahead and go over to. Yeah. And those people with those jokes, get out of the street, you fucking bums. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, guys, I actually uh, I classed it up a little bit, even though I'm a red solo cup. Do me a little vodka soda with a pinch of lime, guys. So I'm using uh, mm. some classy vodka, uh, uh, Burnett's uh, vodka. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Actually, actually, I'm using Grey Goose. So, uh, Sorry to say, you're trying to. You know, just, you, we need to have an intervention when you're drinking Burnett's. <laughs> Burnett's out of the plastic e- jug. And that's Got the me end some of the Heaven log. Hill vodka. Hey, did y'all hear about making and afraid of my Heaven Hill vodka? Uh, so. <laughs> my wife's terrified. She hides in the closet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, joke gets, the joke gets darker as we, as we mess with it. So, what do you got going on, Leaf? What do you got to wash down Bro, I'm sh- drinking- the dad jokes? Uh, some Laguanitas Maximus Robusticus Flavicus, man, and it's green, wow. so you're never going to be able to watch it, dude. Yep. Sweet. Look at that. I'll mm. put in a picture, as always. So nice. Mm-mm-mm. Shadwick, are you actually are you joining us this week? I think you're almost yeah. off the uh, the pain pill train, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I've been off for five, six days now. Nice. And if we can, right, uh, if you don't mind, can I put in that gnarly picture of uh, your arm and all the bruising and shit? Yeah. All right. Everyone yeah. wants to see it. I mean, it really looks like it's been ran over. Right yeah. above, the, right above the elbow looks like scuff marks from a tire. Yeah, it it looks pretty pretty gnarly, man. But he is on the but, way to recovery, yeah. which is all that matters. But uh, I stole what was left of a six pack from a foolish <laughs> carpenter, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I've got uh, oh nice Guinness and gun mm. baby. Yeah, Ooh, yeah that was the one out of the cast. rum cask. That one's. Uh, Supposed to be a pretty tasty one right there, so you'll have it's to keep delicious. it posted. Yeah, mm. 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 that does sound good. Oh, that tastes <laughs> like bourbon. <laughs> it's actually just a bottle of bourbon. There's no beer. So, well, wow. like, like we that, said, that tastes like watered down bourbon or uh, rum. You're gonna be well, feeling really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the bigs, kid. So, all right. <laughs> um, this week, like I said, uh, I found there was some weird list, and it was like. Things you can do in the 90s that you couldn't do today. Derp. And then, like, I started yeah. reading through it because, like, I, my soul's gone at work. And uh, I was just <laughs> searching for anything. And I was looking at it, and I said. Just trying to pass time. I was. But I was thing we call a lot. <laughs> absolutely. And I was like, you know what? We could. This kind of sparked some memories and stuff. So, uh, Leaf narrowed it down to it whatever. I uh, think 20. Uh, we won't It'd maybe a... necessarily air them all. But we're just going to kick off stories with these things, man. And so. Let's go ahead and kick it off. Leaf, what we got on number one? Do number one. And again, these ladies, are not in any specific order. So Not any specific order at, at all. And if you have your own uh, comments, don't forget to put them in the uh Yeah, the, man, we keep uh, forgetting to say section. at the top of the show, uh, please like, please subscribe. Spread the word, man. Let's get this uh, Be Kind, Let's Rewind Nation uh, up and running there, brothers and, and, and sisters. Get, and get all up in the comments, too. Yeah, Please, if you sure. don't get in the comments, Shadwick is going to lose his fucking mind. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's, he's on he's on thin ice. As uh, look, I, it, I'm almost two weeks into having to stay here by myself all day long. I need interaction. You need to see what he's already done to his arm after that last rant he went on. I'll send a picture of it right now. But I mean, he's <laughs> he's really lost his mind, guys. So we need comments for the love of God. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting myself. <laughs> he's hurt himself <laughs> at this point. Hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, Lee, no. what is number one, man? No, numero uno, baby. That is Calling Collect. So Dude. I don't know if you guys remember this, and this has a special place in my heart because of WWF and WCW used to air the 1-800-C-O-L-L-E-C-T commercial. C-O-L-L-E-C-T, baby. 
calling collect. You've got options. You can dial zero like this guy. Hi, Mommy. I rode on the plane all by myself. Did I mention you'll be charged as much as you possibly can for this call? Or you can dial 1-800-COLLECT. Here's how it works. Dial 1-800-COLLECT. Yeah, I just saved you some cash. You're welcome. Love you. Called Mom Collect, huh? You know, you could have saved up to 44% by dialing 1-800-COLLECT. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? And uh, actually, I do remember gaming this system a little bit. So when I was at school waiting for my mom to pick me up, Leaf uh, would get home before I would. And so uh, I would call him collect from the payphone. But in the, instead of the name, I would leave the payphone number. So when you called someone collect, you would call them and it would be like, record your name after this. You'd be like Chris. And then someone would be like, the, the service would say, collect phone call from Chris. And for those mm-hmm. that don't know, collect call basically means you pay for the call. So, yes. So, uh, anyway. You have a click haul from Catoosa County Jail. <laughs> <laughs> Shadwick, I need help now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I would call Lee for the payphone. I don't know if you remember this, but I would put the I number do. instead of the name, and then he would call back because if you called a payphone back, it's free. And so, uh, then I'd like, you know, if we were meeting up after school or some shit, I'd be like, hey, what are you doing? You'll come over. Yeah, like so it didn't on. cost him the quarter or 50 cents, yeah. right? Like, he could instantly get his money back for making the call. And then, like, the system. I, but I can dude, tell you right now, system. man, we've got we'll, – we'll have to clip in some of those old Collect Call commercials because it was a big deal. There's a lot of people calling Collect. 1-800-COLLECT presents Sergeant Savings. That was awesome. About faith. Dad, sorry, excuse for a finger. Just dial zero to call Collect. Did your mind go here, well, boy? Why didn't you use 1-800-COLLECT? It's just a quick call. It doesn't matter, Dally. 1-800-COLLECT still cheaper by a buck or two. You understand, girly man? Yeah. Good. Now start saving and dial 1-800. P-O-L-L-E-C-T. Save a buck or two. Okay. Like, because it was, it cost money to call long distance back then in the 90s and stuff. So. It did. But uh, during that recording session, the funniest part was you could put in whatever message. You didn't have to say Chris Lowry. Chris would be like, "Yo, call me, you stupid ass bitch." Yeah, and like, and like and that's what I would even be like. And so, like, the, so the thing would be like, it's just a, col- it's you like received an entrance. It. It's like an it, entrance service. It mm-hmm. was, dude. It was a mini voicemail. So you'd hear collect call from call me back, you stupid ass bitch, Chris. <laughs> and you just pray to God his mom didn't answer that call, which maybe yep. happened a time or two. So maybe Shadwick, you got any memories of calling collect or any of those? I know. This is kind of obscure. Uh, we weren't exactly with you never long used distance col- friends or anything. We we're kind of hometown <laughs> boys, but you never use collect one eight hundred collect or got a collect call. No, no, mm. I, I never gamed the system like that. I wasn't that crafty, but I always, I don't know. I always thought that calling someone collect was like a dick move. Oh, a hundred percent was like it, so, and, and they even did it in like all the mm. '90s shows. It would always be the sleaze bag calling collect or whatever, yeah, or, you know. Yeah. I think even one of the movies we watched recently, someone actually called Collect from somewhere. I don't remember. Fuck it. All right, man. Let's move on to number two. The next one. The next one, baby. Uh, Printing out directions or using an atlas. I can already tell you right now. uh, Chris and I on the way to Las, not Las Vegas, excuse me, but uh, Panama City (laughs) spring break. Fucking, I got map map quest, dude. Before map <laughs> quest too, though, like dude. we actually had a map map where my aunt wrote some shit down on a piece of paper, and we were going oh, down yeah. to Panama City, man. That was, <laughs> oh yeah. Did you guys? Uh, did you have the map that had like the the bright red magic yep. marker showing you the yeah. exact way to go? Arrows, yeah. And, dude, yeah. She, she she actually drew us a little map, but then had they were kind of vague instructions. It was right. It was a turn for turn. But it was one of those, like, we almost ran out of gas down there because it was like, mm-hmm. we left at midnight because we're young and stupid and we thought that was fun. Actually, it was fun. Fuck it. I stand by it. Uh, but we were going down there and uh, it was like, I think it was maybe near Dothan, Alabama or something. But there's a long stretch Dothan. where there were no gas stations. Yeah. At least and he's, then, like, um, he's yeah. like on E and he's like, uh, we got to get some gas soon. And I was like, oh, boy. Yeah, is that like going toward uh, Eufaula, I think, maybe? I think so. Like it's down there through Alabama. It's funny how it's funny. It doesn't matter like whose map you're using. Uh, everyone's map was going like straight in the direction and it got to the outskirts of uh, Columbus, Georgia, and they're like, yep. "Uh, uh-uh, go yep. around that." <laughs> <laughs> you. 
We played a few all... shows in Columbus, Georgia, and there's a reason people wanted to go around Columbus, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Indeed, there was. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a cost of chicken restaurants. No, no, it was not. So, um, so for those of you not familiar, like this is what we used to do before we had GPS. I don't know what that means. Lots of people who were, yeah, don't understand if you're extre- if you're a lot younger, like you just like if you weren't going on a long trip. Oh yeah, let's man. say from Chattanooga, yeah. Tennessee to I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Guinness and Gun, you know, <laughs> brewery. Florida <laughs> brewery and wherever they're located, you would you'd have to just print out a map or you just have to wing it. You could you could pick them up from gas stations too. Right. I'm going like, to pr- I want to print out a different flavor real quick. All right. Go yeah. So, go ahead. Go ahead. So we also uh, remember when when we were in our uh, little pop punk van F and A, uh, Map Quest had started to become a thing. So that was a big help because then you no longer needed this the place to be like. Hey, get to Johnson City and fucking figure it out, you know, or hey. Yeah, so you can figure it out. Yeah, fucking figure it out. Figure it out. You figure it out. You figure it out. MapQuest was like a game changer. Now, like, I can't go anywhere without my fucking phone telling me, like, every exact direction to go, so. Every turn, every (laughs) single. So, But, dude, um, it was, mm -hmm. it made trips, I just want to say it made trips, like, much more stressful, but also interesting. People got lost all the time. So you, you ask yourself, how did you do it? Well, the truth is, you didn't. You got lost all the time. <laughs> you constantly got lost. Yep. And sometimes that led to adventures. Sometimes you found, you know, out-of-the-way eateries or whatever yeah. the case it may have been. Maybe you drove 30 minutes the wrong direction. I know I have. Yes, absolutely. So it, was, it was like the, wasn't it like the, the three-panel like fold-up that was called a frog map? I think so. But, yeah, yes. those, those, were, those were a big thing. I remember one time we came back from uh, Columbus, Georgia, uh, and in, and f- we live near Chattanooga, Tennessee. So from Columbus, Georgia, Chattanooga, Tennessee, about an hour and a half, we went out of our way, took a wrong turn, ended up going to Nashville, then from Nashville coming back to Chattanooga. So we added about, you know, hour and a half, two hours to that trip. Uh, it was real, real fun, real fun time. <laughs> good time. Good she was time, a nice, yeah. she was a nice piece of ass. Uh, she let me bang her. Uh, yeah, it's this waitress who Charlie's in love with. And, uh, I banged her. <laughs> I watched this. I watched this. Danny uh, this, DeVito. this this story just fell apart. I just watched this Danny DeVito thing. All the ladies uh, out the window. Off of Wolverine, the Danny DeVito as Wolverine thing that I sent you guys. Yeah, it's just all <laughs> yeah, those dude. always sunny clips in there. It's just funny. The waitress, she was a nice piece of ass. I banged her. Um, <laughs> all right, man, let's go on to uh, number, yeah. number three. What we got number there? Number three, dude. We got logging onto the internet with a modem, dude. Dude. Oh, dude. And I will put the clip here right now of the noise because we all know it. Oh, God, AOL. Just like, oh. Yeah, so loud, high pitched squeal. Yeah, but everyone else were like, <laughs> "Oh, dude!" All right, man. Well, when I read this today, and think, look, man, think about a high pitched squeal coming on, <laughs> we're about to get full transparent on this, and I'm here for it. So, look, let's go, dude. Uh, I'm ready for this. What was the for, What was the first piece of pornography that you got via the internet? And Bro, it actually it ha- was not a website. Mine was not, and it was I was at Leaf's house. And this dude at school was like, I'll email you a picture, which I was like, what? You can email pictures? So he you sent can. me a picture of, uh, it was Jenny McCarthy's pictures from Playboy. And I was like, oh, oh shit. So, <laughs> so, so mm. coincidentally, the only th- porn that I've ever spent money on was Jenny McCarthy's Playboy. Nice. Well done. Really? The, Jenny McCarthy was worth it, though. Am I right, the, yeah, guys, or am yeah, I wrong? The, oh, yeah. yeah, the, mag- well, back the mag- magazine. Yeah, the magazine and the video. <laughs> I, all right, Shadwick. So, what? Well, you said full transparency. I thought this was safe. I thought <laughs> this was a safe tree. Yeah. What? I thought we were in the trust tree with in the nest. Are we not? Uh, so we're not in the, the safety nest. Um, what was your? Uh, what was the first one that you remember on the internet? Was it a random oh. website? I just remember that vividly for two reasons. Uh, one, I got it at Leaf's house, and then like I downloaded it on his computer to a disc, which took seven years because it was, you know, what you may have been pimp at fifty six k or fifteen point we six k. No, 14, sir. Seven. What was it? Fourteen. It was like fourteen four. I'm pretty it. sure. Yeah, it was, what, was the original? Ugh. 
And that's what we had. And let me tell you, like, you had to wait. Like, it was probably, God, it was probably like three to three to five minutes before yeah, you dude. could even see, like, Jenny McCarthy's, like, cleavage. Before you could see her forehead. <laughs> yeah. It, like, yeah. And, and what like it would do, this, yeah, like... it would slowly load. <laughs> like, it would slowly so, load. So, I like, got it. I got it on the disc home, and I was gonna load it up on my computer, which wasn't as nice as Leafs. And I remember I was like loading it up, and like I don't know what I thought I was gonna do. I just wanted to see the naked picture, and so like I was in this like, guy. Like, yeah, I was course. in this like I was in like little office area upstairs, and then I hear like the floor like do, 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 like my mom coming down the hall, and I was like, <laughs> <"Kazoosh."> <laughs> like the computer. <laughs> It's, she like went to another room or something, but then like I never even like loaded the picture. <laughs> You're like, oh. I was so scared. I never even loaded the picture, man. I don't think I ever really saw it. Uh, that that floppy disk still. We're not even talking about that, but that still has to exist with Jenny McCarthy's yeah. naked <laughs> naked body on it somewhere on the planet. Oh, it God. exists. It's somewhere in some dump. God knows where I disposed of it. I was like, I can't get caught with this, but uh. <laughs> Man, that was that was phone leaf. Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember the first thing for me. I only remember that just because it was just you know I, th- I what was I fucking fourteen or fifteen? This would have been ninety four, yeah. ninety five. I just it remember had... being like he can send it online. Like mm-hmm. I was so like yeah. blown away yeah. by that. Yeah, no, it had to have been. I didn't receive it from somebody I know, but it had to have been some pornographic like photograph or picture that. Uh, that I got off AOL.com. Oh, like yeah, the same sure. thing. Like I don't remember specifically, but I know it was something along those same lines that I was just like, no way I'm actually going to see like a naked chick. Yeah. It's a good thing. No way. It's a good thing and they it, put the kibosh on internet porn before they start putting like like videos of naked people. <laughs> it's a good because, thing. Could you imagine how many fucking worthless people we'd have in this country? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if, if you had a device in your hand that you could watch porn at any point in time during the day. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. Speaking Somebody, of that, that actually, oddly, this topic leads me to... Uh, now, just God only brings week. natural disasters to places that have too much butt stuff going on. <laughs> God, if you stop this rain, I promise I'll never do butt stuff. God, if you stop this rain, I'll never do butt stuff again. Let it pour. <laughs> I did see butt stuff on AWOL.com, even though it took me all yeah. night. <laughs> you know to what's Chris's you... point? It, 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 hold on. Yeah, to Chris's point, absolutely. There was a danger, man. Your parents could walk in. It yeah. took forever to download. Dude, yeah, man. it wasn't like real quick and you could change screens. I didn't even think you could change screens back then. Like, it was. I, I was going to say yeah. what's funny about AOL. Yeah. We all like on this right now. Full disclosure, most people used AOL all the time back then for this semester or whatever. So yep. much porn was like distributed through AOL yet when they had the Time Warner merger they got rid of pro wrestling cuz it was too low brow I'm like you know what people are doing on your service come on <laughs> man you know what you're doing bro absolutely true you guys know what you're doing like and that's just that just goes to show you like the double standard yeah but i mean you know logging like, we have to admit like to the original topic logging onto the internet modem especially when you were like looking for porn or just being online to go to chat rooms or whatever yeah. nefarious shit you were doing, <laughs> it was a, it was kind of a rush to hear I'll that. Oh, and man. let's let's not forget you had to have a phone line for it. Yep. So, oh my. God. So how I many forgot. times how many times would you get kicked off the internet because Dude. someone picked up yes. a phone? That's, Fuck, yeah. motherfucker! I, <laughs> I get mad. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, that, th- that thought was just about <laughs> that memory was almost gone <laughs> and i just pulled it back in uh, like a fucking so sledgehammer you were, dude you, you could hear it too like line. you could you could hear it through your computer sometimes because i guess there's that speaker or whatever back there you'd hear <laughs> and then you're like you know you're, you're downloading thing. something and then it's just like <laughs> what's worse yeah. what's worse i mean you're you're <laughs> logged on you, you're you're downloading this picture. You got your, you got your, you got your yes. You got your dick in your hand, and then, <laughs> then your mom picks up the phone. Yeah. <laughs> it's a double she's like, whammy. She's like, "Shady, honey, will you please get off the phone? It's time for me to call your auntie. <laughs> Why don't you let mama stroke your cock and balls?" <laughs> oh, too far. <laughs> 
mean, it was the it voice. Was. I had to go to the voice. I mean, you had to go to the voice. <laughs> um, We're, we digress. So, all right, man. So, let's, let's you, move you're on. Sca- you're scared, aren't you? You're scared, aren't you, honey? What's the next one, man? <laughs> <laughs> number, number four, baby. Yeah, we don't Picking have to keep up. number though, because I don't know if we're gonna cut it. Yeah, because so. yeah, uh, right, right, right. Next, uh, hold on. Next, we actually already talked about, dude. Picking up another uh, landline phone to and just drop in somebody. on it. Oh, okay. Just get somebody. Um, oh, oh, and um, oh, hold on. This is really, this is a really good one. This is a really good one. Next one. Picking up another landline phone to drop in on a conversation. Oh you yeah, had multiple man. lines in the house. I don't yep. know if yeah, who you grew up sneaky with sneaky bastards. Yep, He's... I grew up with two, an older sister, which was just just delicious to oh, try dude. to listen to yeah. her conversations, and that was, which were all could, normal. You could always hear, like you could hear when someone picked up, and then it would be the worst when they like just weren't aware because they can't hear themselves. So you'd hear. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like on the phone, like you're like you're like you have to be able to hear your breathing right. that loud. You got to turn the phone upside down. Well, I mean, yeah, like That's if you're true, smart, right? I'm saying the people that weren't smart trying to like eavesdrop, they're just like. But that was I thought thing, I was man. so clever. Yeah, dude. Like when you're a kid, you have I had no idea if like my mom was on yeah. the phone and I'm like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like yeah. that noise when you pick it up, it's making all this fucking Bro. racket, and then you're just like. I had a I had a system. This is as close as to James Bond that I'm ever gonna get, right? <laughs> I had it. All right, so here's what you do, right? Like obviously you have this button which is the receiver, right? And so the phone is on top of the receiver. So what you have to do is slide your finger down oh, and yep. mash the receiver closed, right? Some and Indiana then Jones so boulder shit. Dude, this is this is like the high tech back yep. then. You slowly, you slowly lift up the button You're to right. engage the receiver yep. so it make the clicking noise. And then if you were really, 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 really good, they wouldn't hear it. And yep. then, and then the your conversation with and yours. The, yeah. the rush of that was if you got like ten seconds in and no one said anything or there wasn't a pause, you were like, Oh, I'm in now. You were in. You were in. What, and about, if you were, what about cordless phones? When you push the button, did it make a it noise? It made a noise, yeah. It made those, a noise. It? Those, those were hard. Because I remember, like, there was a couple of times, like, I picked up, and then it was like, I was like, oh, shit, I'm in. And my mom's like, yeah, I think we're just going to have to uh, ship Chris off to a home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe some nitwit school uptown. And I was like, what? I was shanghai upstate to a nitwit school. You know what a nitwit school is? <laughs> traumatic childhood guys you know you did you didn't hear you didn't always hear things you wanted you wanted to hear yeah but you did you did try to you did try to like eavesdrop on conversation did you ever hear so any good, are, anything good or was it always just like your sister talking to her boyfriends being all like kissy wissy yeah it was dumb shit like that and then occasionally my brother would be talking to one of his friends or whatever and i'd be like just you know what i mean you're yeah. just you're this is before the internet this this particular <laughs> this is what we did when we were what do you, this is what we did dude <laughs> who, do you, who do you think did it more uh, boys or girls oh girls 100 percent. girls yeah that's, that's gonna be hey those, those, uh, uh, those uh local gossipy whores yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave a comment uh all all one or two women that listen to the show leave a comment Not, and uh, let us know uh there's less women did now. you ever drop in on someone's phone call <laughs> the next one, going next, uh, on the same vein of the James Bond-esque phone hacks of the 80s, uh, dial, uh, dialing star 69 to call someone Ooh, back, baby. So this was... The, tech, yeah. the secret tech. Yeah, this was the, uh, the anti-prank phone call thing, right? So I don't know. This was before caller ID was real prevalent i believe yeah so yeah, yeah it, it was and it went into that era pretty, yeah guys back in the was, day yeah. people would call you and you had no fucking clue who was on the other line it, <laughs> <laughs> there was no number there was no name there was no was sick it was just a, a phone would ring and you'd pick up and who knows who's on is it the nope. second guzman on the grassy knoll is it you know <laughs> who knows who it is who knows is it jenny mccarthy finally returning my phone calls i mean i don't know Probably not. It could have been. That's why, why you answered. It, it never you was. Checked. God, no. It was always Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that one was that one was a, a game changer because we all we can kind of sidebar on this, too, because prank phone calls were a thing. And it was always a thing at first. It start, for me, it started with like sleepovers and shit. 
You know, mm-hmm. you'd be at somebody's house, and I would always be game for it then because I was like, I'm using your phone to prank phone call somebody. But I was like, we talked about earlier on, you want to talk about some low hanging fucking fruit? Me in like fifth grade prank calling somebody asking if the refrigerator's running. Like, mm-hmm. God damn. If I could yep. see me I mean, back then. That was like then, a 1950s I, joke. God, I would have beat the shit out of myself if I could go back in time. Uh, Same. Same. But we used to do them in The only thing that would say that is if you did it in like a 1950s. Uh, radio voice. Yeah. <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> Why is it fucking, what's his name for the B-52? <laughs> <laughs> <Sam. laughs> and it's you're just, a, you're just, a whale. You're just trying to piss me off, aren't you? I know, man. It's, 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 well, you're fresh off the pain pills now. Well, hold on, like, hold God. on. I want to make sure we're not getting this confused because there was Star 69 to call somebody back and then there was Star 67 to block which would just like And I wonder which call. one was first. Star 69. Star 69 was first. Okay, that makes sense. Because Star 67 was in the... It would block Star 69, but it would also block caller ID. Yes. So I believe in that note, it was something cheesy like calling your crush using Star 67 or whatever. Like It was like... (laughs) I mean, no, but when we were prank calling people and you could Star 67, it was like... Oh, God, remember the other one, too, when we would look up bowling alleys in the phone book? And called him, and then we would ask them if they have 10-pound balls. You, you listen to that, kiddos? There used to be a big book. It had a bunch of phone numbers in it. <laughs> and he was, it, was, it was called a phone book. It's this poor guy is fucking spraying shit and shoes for a living. He answers the phone. He's just at the end of his rope. And we're like, do you have 10-pound balls? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, how do you walk? <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't a one-time thing. It would be like daily during the summer. We we would have like a, a route. And he, could, and he couldn't call. say no. He knew where it was going. You know, it was like the 800th time that day you had heard that joke. And he couldn't say no. Damn you, kids! <laughs> yeah, I blame the Simpsons for that. That has to be where that shit started. Like him prank calling Mo all the time, but yeah, that was a that was a real thing, and that Star sixty seven um, really opened that door wide open because we could no longer really be did. Star sixty nine. So did when you did, ever did? Do you ever get uh, like you call and hang up or prank call or whatever, and someone Star sixty nine and yes. called you back? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. so what was it go to? Did you did you admit to it or? Well, the only time it ever happened to me, I was at. Uh, because I was a pretty good kid, so I was pretty terrified to do it, but I was at one of one dude's house at a sleepover, and he was really up for this prank phone call, so I think we had the, the refrigerator running and whatever, you know, fifth grade jokes we had canned, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we called this one, we looked up, it was some funny fucking number, the dude's pro- name was probably like Harry Dick or something, so we like, Harry, call, Sack. Harry Sack from Beavis and Butthead, but like, mm-hmm. it's Harry Sack. we called him, we did the joke, we hung up, because we had called several numbers, and then the phone rang. And it was like 11 o'clock at night, and he lived with his grandparents. And I remember being like, uh. And he picked up, and the dude was like screaming at him and shit on the phone. was going to find him and stuff, like find us and yeah. tell our I parents. I had one of those and, moments, too. I definitely yeah. had one of those moments, scared too. scared the was... shit out of me. Do you have one, Shadwick? No, I just remember um, someone doing that to me, and I, I called him back, and it was just a hang-up. You hang were up. the maniac. Yes. No, it, <laughs> no, I'm going to find you. No, it, it was just a hang-up. Um, and I recognized a girl that, that answered, mm-hmm. but she wouldn't admit to it. So <laughs> so I knew she was lying, but I just let it go and just made a note. What? <laughs> then later like, on okay. in life. I can't, I can't trust this one. Yep, I'll find you. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll find I'll, you. I'll, uh, yeah, so that was- Can't trust this one. Or any other one. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self at, in fifth grade. So yeah, we uh, we definitely got burned on that one. So uh, I guess prank phone calls not even a thing anymore, right? I mean, I like the jerky boys. I mean, how and, how could it be? Yeah, I guess our spam phone calls now the new prank phone calls. Do you think there's actually no corporation offshore? These guys are just fucking with us. <laughs> oh no, I think yeah, I think uh, I think we really are in a simulation like the Matrix mm-hmm. and. When we get one of those uh, uh, auto warranty things, yeah, mm-hmm. that's someone trying to contact us from outside, but no one's ever escaped because no one's ever listened all the way through <laughs> the one of those way. calls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. hey just... guys, uh, listen to the call all the way through, and then leave in the comments if you were in the Matrix and yeah. let us know. Because uh, <laughs> no. I'm going to be honest, I don't want to leave if, if there's like scary octopus-looking robots out there. Yeah, no thanks. Same. I know kung fu. 
Leave me in. Leave me in, dude. Leave yeah. me in. All right, Next babe. one. What we got? Ignorance is bliss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hanging out at the mall. This is a big one. Like, who didn't? Yeah. And like, so again, this is before the internet. Like, everybody went out, especially in like small southern towns where we existed. Yeah. Like, I, where? I, I what was say, What was your favorite restaurant in the food court? Probably like. Don't say the cookie stand. <laughs> The cookie stand is not part of the food court. We would, we would never say that because the cookie stand, yeah, is not part of the food court. It's considered an autonomous unit for mid-mall snacking. It's not quantum so, physics. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, no, so, you wanna... so we didn't really hang out at, at Eastgate. It was already pretty much yeah, that gone. Was so Hamilton Place was the big one for us. Yep, and that one, I think Same. Hamilton Place was built in 89 or 90. Uh, okay. In Chattanooga, it's like uh, Hamilton Place is where a lot of people get shot now, I think. Um, but back then, it was a uh, <clears throat> it was a whole thing. Like you could go, uh, the, all the stores were brand new. It's actually a really pretty building. Like when you get in there, and yeah. most malls were like they had you know nice floors, and you usually had really good architecture. Had man. A, carpet sometimes, like upstairs. Yeah, usually. man, you had a upstairs, downstairs. You had a for us. Like you, I remember still to this day, you walked in to your right was a Dream Machine Arcade, and right to the left was the movie theater. You go probably about 50 yards down there. There was the food court, and it was bliss. Then you could walk around. I think we talked about it. What was it? Cam- Camelot was the uh, other one. Yeah, Cam- <laughs> yeah Camelot Music. Camelot, Camelot Music. Was, music. So there's a music store it you was, could go to. We had like two or three. I am the last music store. <laughs> we, had Sp- we had Spencer's. Yep. And then later on, for you old, for you, for a little, for you younger kids who were still older, uh, we had uh, Hot Topic, Hot Topic man. Yeah. That yeah. was a big one for some of y'all. Gadzooks was the Spencer's. precursor. I want to meet Mr. Spencer one day and say, thanks, motherfucker, for all the laughs. Uh, <laughs>, <laughs> Spencer Gifts, you know? Oh, How did yeah. Spencer's get away with the shit they got away with? But yeah. anyways, we'll, we'll talk about it. So it's, like, like, it's like head in the class, but with blowjobs. Blow jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember, uh, like, you know, as a kid, you'd get... You'd get Donnie. Donnie. You get dropped <laughs> off uh, at the mall. Uh, they would trust dropping their kids off back then, I guess. And so we would just go Hell yeah. run amuck, 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 amuck in the mall and then go to the arcade, go to the music store. Uh, yeah. Man, it was just like after school, you'd be like, hey, man, you going to the mall? Like, cool. Especially when you drive. Like, we spent so much time there. And then that's when you're kind of in your later teen years where you're just like looking for. Oh God! I was huge into hip hop and grunge and yeah. rock and just like any music was cool and. So you guys yeah. were a little closer to the mall than I was, so I didn't make it up usually through the week unless I just like had to go up there to get something. But it was like a huge but, event on the weekend when you went. Like yeah. going to the mall on the weekend was like the thing. So yeah. like you, we would go to Northgate sometimes, uh, but most of the time it was Hamilton Place. That was the big one, man. So I remember just. So many good memories, like, and then you'd always run into people you know at the freaking mall because you would be like, it'd be like Kevin Smith's Mall Rats, like you're there literally all day sometimes, like, just yeah, wandering around, and you could go to the just mall with five out. or ten bucks and actually make it work. All right, so my question was, from the '90s, not currently, what was your favorite restaurant? Where did you eat most at uh, at the mall? At the mall, probably Taco Bell. <laughs> same. How about the same? Yeah. yeah what same about you, waste. Taco Bell? I liked, um, what was it called? The Great Steak Escape or something like that? Or is this Steak Escape? Yes. The the big, like... uh, With the balloon? No, no, no. It was... uh, I thought it had a balloon logo. It was a big sandwich. It was a big sandwich place, right? Like a Philly cheesesteak joint? Yeah, there was... Yeah, the Philly cheese place. And then right next to them was that... Like Japanese. Oh, dude, I love that place too. You know what did not yes. love that? My Sakura stomach. of yeah. Japan. Sakura of yes. Japan, and they would oh, always yeah. hand out the free yeah, samples baby. to get you yep. hooked. Yep. And I'm like, I don't think this chicken's cooked, and they're like, hi. And I'm like, all right, I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they're like, dude. Uh, and they would give out the free samples yeah. that were also raw, dude. Yep. And I'd just be like, man, yo, like, give me the free samples, dude. cut. That's, All right, so well, if you're, when you go to Japan, you're going to have to learn how to make that stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, understood. Also, learn because, why. Because, because there's nothing online on how to do it. Yeah, there's... What the fuck is the internet? <laughs> <laughs> you are the ball lickers. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we actually... When Leaf got his driver's license, man, during that first summer, that was like all we fucking did. It would just go to the mall. 
God, if I was a store owner, I would have hated us. I'm sure those dudes that worked at like the video game store too, the arcade places were just like, Jesus fucking Christ, where these kids just go hang home. out and read. Yeah, read EGM. We'd be and <laughs> other gaming magazines. We ran out of money from the arcade, <laughs> and we've already so, eaten our Taco Bell. Like we're just you losers, dude. Dude, yeah. So were you were you in the wheelchair at 16? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, absolutely. I couldn't remember. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he, 16. So he had the I, got the hand controls or whatever for the car. And got your little yeah. Honda Civic, man, and that was Yeah. We went up there. Dude, we were we were off to the races, man. Yeah, did, before. And ever, I was actually hmm? You ever lose your car? No. He I didn't because he's got the handicap spark parking that asshole. No, that's, that's true. Yeah, we were front row, <laughs> well, baby. A lot. I did. Hamilton yeah. Place parking lot was massive. That was another thing at malls, especially like when it was busy on the weekend. Like you would, yeah. there would be several old people that were like, "My car was stolen," and they're like, "It's right <laughs> over there. That's yeah. not where I parked it." Yeah, that was like, uh, <laughs> that, that happened. That happened with me and my mom. I was fifth, fifteen, sixteen. I remember I drove up there, mm-hmm. and uh, I was with my mom. We were in there for a while. Whatever we came out, and I don't know. We somehow got like a couple sections over. Oh yeah, you can get and, like, real easy. We flag like we flagged down like the, remember the little security truck guy, yeah. like and uh, and Paul Blart Mall car. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, no shit. And uh, feel like, or maybe it was like a little ATV or something like. It, you carry yeah. people around. It was. I think yeah. you're right. Like yeah. they had one of It was those. almost like a golf cart, but a yeah. little better. But they than got that. that so that happened so much because that's also too before. You had the little unlocking mechanisms that would make it beep or the car alarms, mm-hmm. right? So you couldn't even do that to find your car. But, yeah, so anyway, they they would pick you up. I remember there's a whole news article on, like, take your time finding your car at Hamilton Place because it doesn't mean that it's been stolen because, I guess, <laughs> security had had so many people be like, my car's been stolen. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> from a so- winter storage parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, so with this – might not even be on your list, but in your school was a, a big thing for like people to put alarms on their car. Uh, at the tail end, at, it was at the tail. Yeah, like it was kind of. It was school. almost like it was almost like you know putting a system in it. It like. would be after the system was in there, though. It would always right. be that would be why they would do it. But yeah, that was that. So that would have been like ninety six to ninety eight, ninety nine, somewhere in there. Yeah. But I do remember that, and it was always the people that came and they're like their car oh, was like oh, it was called it was called Viper. Viper arm. Protected by Viper. Stand back. Oh, Viper shit. Viper alarm. Yeah, yeah. I remember, Viper, like, the people I would come into school, though, and they'd be like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and it just sounded like ass because their car is, like, vibrating. They're like, yeah, but, system? yeah, because it was, like, an 84, <laughs> cent, like, Nissan Sentra. Yeah. The... the it wasn't even the speakers rattling. It was like the deck lid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was the, yeah, the car itself. And, and people were just like yeah. so dumb. They were just like, nope, just got to get subwoofers, man. And I'm like, let me show you how music works. You have highs, you have mids, and you have lows. And maybe you should mix those. Next, <laughs> watching Saturday morning cartoons, Ooh. dude. A full episode uh, could be I done about this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to go ahead and say I still do this. I make a point to watch cartoons, but it's usually on Sunday morning. And then, of course, they're not live or anything. It's right. just like I'll you scroll find, through. I'll, you I'll watch. Cartoons. Yes, I'll watch 30 minutes an hour of cartoons at some point on the weekend. I don't it's know important. what it is. It just is like peaceful for me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like I'll find it. I mean, y'all know me. Like I'm always fucking watching cartoons, whether they're adult cartoons or whatever. But like. There was something about waking up. Was that the first porn you downloaded? <laughs> it was. I think it's called <laughs> hentai. Um, so the, it's art. Yeah, it is art. Um, so <laughs> I I remember the bowl of cereal, man. You'd have the bowl of yeah. cereal. You're sitting down in front of my TV that was massive to me that I'm fairly certain was a nine inch television. If it no was shit. that, like, but Dude, I think we had a 36 at one point. And well, it took up your entire wall in your brain. Well, thinking well, about it, it wasn't. Well, it wasn't even a flat screen. It was like, oh yeah, I know. A, they go the tube. But like yeah. back then, you think like I remember Leaf. I think your dad had a. He's like twenty five. I swear to God, you'll had a thirty two. But you may be right. I just remember whatever you had in your living room. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is the biggest TV I've ever seen in my life. And it's like. 25 30 inches yeah. or whatever it's it like, was yeah, it wasn't it was less than 30 it, biggest tv <laughs> what's the biggest tv you guys have now 
Uh, 70, I think. I don't even know. I think mine is like 50, something in the 50. My living room yeah. is smaller than I think than, but than Chris's. But the even TVs Chris's. now that are that big cost less than the TVs, the tiny tubes back then. Oh, it's oh, yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I was going to say, so I have a 75-inch now. Um, I think I think that's the biggest one, but the first thing that I started like uh, building credit with was buying a TV from Sears. Oh, dude, I, I was built. I built one with a Best Buy, a plasma. Yeah. And then uh, it got stolen. This was this was the this was the projector uh, Hitachi. Hi. Uh, uh, twenty. <laughs> it was like twenty seven, twenty eight hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. And, it, and I remember uh, it was a fifty seven inch. Wow, and it probably weighed four thousand pounds. Yes, yeah. I still have my plasma <laughs> that, from when I worked where, at Best Buy. Oh, that's really? where I originally. That's where I originally tore my shoulder was moving that fucking TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. it's just been on a on a downward well, I mean, time on since then. You know, it was going to happen. So, um, but I do. Do you guys remember any specifics on Saturday morning? Like I I know that yeah, it was man. reruns, but I do remember wacky races. Uh, being on there at some point in time, I remember Gummy Bears, which Matt Stevens yes. does a great uh, rendition of a version of that song. We'll put in the show one day. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. What else we had? Uh, you had we had, you had uh, cartoons during the week, but the Saturday mm-hmm. morning cartoons. Yeah, you had were like, you had like they were, they were uh, you had different. like Ducktales through the week. Yeah, yeah, and, and like Inspector Gadget. You, but one of my yeah. favorites of all time. Go ahead. I, I know, I know, mine for Saturday mornings was. Uh, uh, Super Friends, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. nice. The Legion of Doom. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites of all time, Thundar the Barbarian, oh, dude. Oh, shit. That yeah. shit was so good, that man. That was good. I remember. They all had the same, like, similar feels and stuff. So they had their, like, it was mm-hmm. almost like the toy launching stuff was all during the week. Everything that's like toy based, like Ninja mm-hmm. Turtles, yes, uh, Ducktales, all other stuff. And then Saturday morning just seemed more like wholesome old school cartoons. Like just yeah, we we probably don't know it, but like through the week they were playing that shit at like uh, what three thirty to when we're off school, five hundred percent. Soon as soon as we get home, mm-hmm. before our parents get home. It was probably yeah. it probably wasn't even a cartoon. It was probably just like a, a long advertisement. Like a, it was like a like one of those hypnotizing things. Yep. It was just like throwing products at us the whole time. Absolutely, we yeah. were just like, Leaf, yeah. let's cut this in, man. Why don't you Why don't you Google top ten uh, Saturday morning cartoons from like eighties and nineties? You got it, see, man. What, I remember while, I must. And right. while you're doing that, I'm gonna throw out a few. See if you guys remember. Okay. Uh, you remember cops? Barely. Yes. man. Ronnie was a big fan of cops. He he liked Dude. that show a lot. They were that like cybernetic one. police yeah. officers, yes. dude. It was crazy. That was, a cool show. that was cool. You remember Lone Star? I do remember Lone Star. Who? Yes. Um, I don't remember a lot about. Was he, it, was he like a Indian cowboy? But he had like the uh, space yeah. horse or some shit, right? Yeah. Like it was. Yeah. yeah. It was always. Yeah, he space. was. White he was African Native American. Space cross. Yeah, he was. For them to say, it's not for me to say. He had like a. He had a walking horse companion. The, the, yeah. the horse yeah. had like armor, and then there was also a redhead, which there had to be because you know. Because you were like it. we had. We had to, <laughs> because we had to make because sure Indians, that, Indians, they're redheads. Mm-hmm. Dude, we had to make sure that we got addicted to to uh, to, yes. the, to yeah that I had to get addicted to redheads to destroy the first you know part portion of my dating life. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I found a list of probably maybe the top ten most. Uh, Okay. Nostalgic Saturday morning cartoons, which everyone will remember. Right. Uh, number ten being number oh, ten sorry. being uh yeah, Tom and Jerry. Oh like, yeah, everyone's yep. favorite classics. I don't remember them, oh, but, but much that was on Saturday morning. I yeah, that. I remember mm-hmm. syndication on TNT or TBS. I remember that. them on Saturday mornings, but it was okay. like it. Yeah, they, they were, but they were, but they were old. Yeah, they were, they were old, absolutely. And they had well, there was like a, okay. So if you guys remember this, this is important. There was Hanna Barbera like yes. segments, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. you would have like Tom and Jerry in that segment, and then like the Flintstones, and you'd have like the Jetsons, yeah, in yeah. that in that block. Got so you. yeah, like I do remember like Tom and Jerry on Saturday morning. Of course, number nine, one of uh, if you haven't watched the episode from Be Kind, Rew- let's rewind. You need to X Men, the Woo! animated series, oh, Saturday shit. morning. Yeah, that's right. That was one of banger. my favorite. Oh, uh, Spider Man! I would wake up just for that one. Yes, Spider Man. 
uh, Spider Man, uh, Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner, oh, obviously, yeah. sort of uh, the uh, Looney Tunes uh, yeah. series. That was Johnny I... Quest. Oh shit! I forgot about Johnny Quest. Yeah, that's a Johnny big one. Quest was on there. Scooby Doo, of course. Yeah. Full disclosure. Not a fan of Scooby Doo, and I'm in the minority. I know, but never so, liked Scooby Doo. Uh, well, I don't know if you're in the minority. I know a lot of people don't like. They're just like me. There's only a very like few seasons, I guess, that I, I like. There was something different about the art, the the whole way that they made it. Yeah. Uh, when it first came out, it was great, mm-hmm. and and then I don't know when they lost the messiness and cleaned it up. Yeah. It, it just like changed the whole feel of it. Well, and yeah. I will say a cartoon I did like, and a little embarrassed to say, a pup named Scooby Doo. I love that show. Not Scrappy Doo, but they did a version of Scooby Doo where it was a pup named Scooby Doo where they were yeah, all I remember kids. Because they Frankly. went through this yes. whole thing where they were like, yeah, but what if they were kids? And I fucking love that show. It had like catchy little songs on it, and it was, I don't know, still. Yeah, uh, what was that? Uh, in anim- <clears throat> Excuse me, Animaniacs. What was the uh, Tiny Tunes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tiny Toons was in that same uh, Warner Brothers was, universe. Yeah, where they were just trying to do whatever. All right, but, man, what else do you got? Well, that's back up in the 90s. Yeah, it is. That was that was towards mid-90s. What else did you have, Leaf? I've got uh, Inspector Gadget. Oh, shit. I've, okay, now I forgot completely the so, about the Nickelodeon cartoons. That yeah, were so, I thought about, of those. so I thought about Inspector Gadget, but I thought that was an afternoon cartoon. There was, they, on Nickelodeon, okay, so, they would have cartoons in the morning, too, to compete. They would. And so a lot of these cartoons, what they what would happen uh, also, Shadwick, was that they would debut on Saturday morning, and mm-hmm. as time went oh, by, right. you would see them yeah. during the during the week, right? Yeah. Yes. So you would see like so GI Joe would start it on Saturday morning, uh, but yeah. eventually you would see it every single After day because you got to buy And that's toys. probably yeah. <laughs> the end of the day, also the Ninja Turtles. Yep. The Ninja Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja yeah, Turtles. Yeah, we haven't well, said that already. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we absolutely because cannot. like I, we don't really remember it starting on Saturday though because like mm. it's it wasn't we'll do a whole episode on them but like it wasn't really known like it launched not a whole lot happened with it and then I think when it finally got in syndication it caught steam and then the toys flew do off. Do you the guys shelves. do you guys remember yes. on on ABC on uh, Saturday mornings? I think it would be uh, they would do the cartoons and then at eleven or eleven thirty there was like. I think they call it the weekend special and it was usually like a two-parter so you'd get that i don't i can't remember if it was 30 minutes or an hour but then it'd be a cliffhanger okay and then it'd be like the next week but it, it was it was not like a an ongoing show like every every episode was like a different subject different actors and everything mm-hmm. i don't remember yeah, i do that. remember that I there was, um i think that's wasn't there something called Bungie? You remember that yeah. one? Yeah. He was like, he was like an he was like a furry alien with like a oh shit yeah like an elephant nose or something yeah yeah I think yeah. I think that was one of those weekend specials. <laughs> wow, really? Freaking Damn. mutant ass. <laughs> um, yes, dude. Um, well, let's... But the one I do remember, and I'll shut up after this, uh, the two minute werewolf. It was it was a lot. It was a live action show, mm-hmm. and it was a kid. And I, I can't remember. Like Teen Wolf, but but younger than Teen Wolf. I seen it. Nineteen eighty five, The Adventures of a Two Minute Werewolf. Oh yeah. wow, we'll put that in. Yeah, yeah I don't. Oh I, my god, I, dude, I don't. Remember I'm this. sure it's terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so to round up the list and for bonuses, um, of course we had uh, Voltron. Yeah, for those yeah. of you who are who are as old as we are. Uh, uh, Darkwing Duck nice. for Disney aficionados. Let's get Chris dangerous. already mentioned, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, right. We had uh, uh, you know, a bunch of Disney cartoons. That was what? one of them. Chris, did you ever go um, on Halloween as Darkwing Duck? Uh, no, but my brother did. Who is <laughs> who is the terror that flaps in the night? That's just what I want to know. That's what I want to know. He's and like, of course, last. He's like, who is the terror that flaps in the night? Who? I bet that <laughs> tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> was that in there? Did I get that wrong? 
I, that, that seems so familiar now. I don't know why it seems I, so familiar. Also, uh, just a side note, uh, after a, a small uh, poll of uh, female listeners, apparently not a fan of the pizza gorilla. Uh, not a fan. Really? Yeah, not you know, a fan of pizza gorilla? I, I, hmm. bet, I bet every one of those girls love pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that it tastes good, you know. Like, it, thinks, it, tastes it tastes good. good. So, all right, like, man, what was the last? Was last, awesome? last but not least, He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Oh shit! I forgot that just, that one was. Yeah, that was Saturday morning. And and Orishira, who mm-hmm. for for the ladies out there, since we're talking about them, I bet that <laughs> tastes good. <laughs> That one wasn't there. I remember that. Oh, one. Do you remember that? It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Some people might not remember that. That's please, uh, please, please don't play that every time we talk about females. Please, for God's sake, dude. <sighs> we, <laughs> we're out of pocket. We're so far out. <laughs> I'm sorry. That yeah. one. That one was good. That oh, one. there was a, there, uh, that was a, that was a good out. That was a, that was a nice. Now, there was a there was a, nice. there was a there was a list. I think someone said something about, yeah, a something about a list. Something about a list. Where are we at on we're the going, list now, man? We're, we're going at, the actual list. Yeah, we did a Saturday morning cartoons. I'm interested to know like what what other cartoons people remember that we don't. But uh, the next on our actual list that was passing notes in class, and I got caught passing notes yeah. and was summarily punished. Is anyone not? Shabby, did you get away with it? Chris just admitted it. Yeah, I got caught. Uh, I got um, caught. hundred percent I did. I don't remember getting caught. Really? And I mean, I didn't really pass a lot of notes, though, in full disclosure. Now, I was really bad about... Like, if the note came my way, at the first I was like, oh, cool, I'm part of something because I was at a new school and no one would yeah. talk to me because they're fucking <laughs> heartless human beings. Uh, mm-hmm. But anyway, I would pass it <laughs> along and be like, yeah, I'm part of something. But then after, like, my soul died, I was just like, oh, I'm just going to throw this on the floor somewhere and then, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I was kind of that yeah. guy sometimes. <laughs> I think, I'll, I think I've think i always thought uh, if it's – if it's something that you're not going to want someone else to hear, yeah, say it in person. Don't ever put it For in sure. print. Well, yeah, it's just yeah, yeah it's too yeah. much, man, too much. But my notes were always like which really, which really... went that notion went out the window with social media, where everyone could put in print whatever they fucking think about anything. Ugh, yeah, all this show's canceled. <laughs> just, just fix it in post. All my right. point is, I think Shadow the nail on the head is like the internet and social media just allowed. Everyone to read everybody's like notes private notes in class, class. Yeah, notes in class. and yeah. they mine were like really stupid, anyways. Like most of them, hey, hey, what's up? Not down, yeah. <laughs> Are the uh, Are, the do you like me? Yes, no, maybe, or whatever. I never did that, yeah, either. yeah. Big I don't, surprise, I don't. uh, the uh, pizza gorilla guy over here, not a big ladies' man in high school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Interesting. After going to the mall, playing arcade games, and uh, watching cartoons yeah. Saturday morning, apparently not what they were looking for. But <laughs> but, 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 talk, but talking about uh, professional wrestling didn't bring them back in. <laughs> no, that apparently not, what? <laughs> yeah, if that doesn't do it, nothing will. Could you could you like audibly hear their pussies just? <laughs> They were like, oh, cool. So you're six? And I'm like, I'm 17. <laughs> I remember the only... Good for you. Yeah. Even back then, like, the like I was just like a meme lord. And, like, I remember one of the only notes that I got caught, like, passing. I don't even remember what it said, but I just remember the team, the, the, the teacher's reaction. Like, he's, like, passing notes are when he grabs it. And like opens it up, and it's like one of the first male teachers I had. So I'm immediately I can't stand it. Like mm-hmm. any male teachers from this day forward, and he's like, "What? What the hell even is this mean? Like, what is this?" And he's like, "Just get out. Just, just get out. Just get out of <laughs> out of the class." <laughs> like he, whatever it was I was sending, and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. Like he didn't understand it, and of course it was something probably a private joke. Yeah, for sure. That was like that was funny because that's what get I wanted out. to do. Just make. <laughs> you out of and I got room. thrown out of class because I mean I started laughing as soon as he like he yeah, got it. Just I can't help myself, man. I cannot help it's, myself. It's not dude. my fault you chose that life. You you woke up one day and chose violence to be a teacher. You did. You did. <laughs> so and, and, and I dislike teachers so much so that I married one so I could torture her for the rest of her life. <laughs> yeah, that's how much. That's how deep it goes. 
Or, or until she kills you. Yeah, either one. It's worth it. All right, man. <laughs> she, she's not a chemistry teacher, is she? No. God, no. Like Miss mm-hmm. McGarrickle? <laughs> <laughs> I'll always love you! All right, what do we got next, man? Next, memorizing a phone number. Ooh. And, uh, yes, and, uh, and or calling the temperature information, a.k.a., and I'm just going to throw this in there, movie phone, because it needs to be, it needs to be thrown in there, right? So, when we worked at the movie theater, uh, we had some gems that we would do, so we found out... They were gems, indeed. Our managers just didn't give a fuck, and we're like, hey, you guys do the movie recording, because they didn't want to do it, because it took forever, because you got to nail it one take back then, right? So you got to record yeah, it. There's... If you fuck up, you got to start over. Well, the whole thing. I would do like whole some goofy fucking voice or do something, whatever. And then we would put an inside joke in or something that's like not appropriate at all. And then wait till we get one phone call. So one person heard it and then we would unplug it and re record the message. So there was <laughs> like, so that one person thought in my brain, that person was like, did I just hear them say fuck on the answer machine? And then they call back and it's like a normal ass message or whatever. There's like, no way they could prove it. There's no way they could prove it unless they were recording the first time. So yeah, Chris was like, Chris was diabolical, man. <laughs> this shit was diabolical. This is like the eighties, nineties, man. Oh, Get them yeah. out of here. <laughs> but, so, I, so I never uh, legitimately called about the, uh, the weather, yeah. but but you could use that to um, to mask uh, redial, so no one could go behind oh. you and see who, see who you had called. Oh, Speaking nice. of crafty, well done. Your mom's like well, Shadwick. Sure does love to call and check the weather. <laughs> 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 you are tiny little nine seven six numbers, right, honey. <laughs> I'll have to check. Hold on. Oh, you just got an information. You're such a good boy. <laughs> and then, and then, when's going to be the weather oh, tomorrow? God damn. Nice, Shadwick. Nice. Well done, dude. <laughs> well done, bro. So uh, I don't know if anybody remembers that. That was a big one, though. Yeah, for like, sure. You, you that, was, have... that was actually taught to me by a girl that I was dating because she didn't want someone else to find out that she was calling me. Okay. You know, if it works, it works, bro. Hey, this is spicy. This is yeah. spicy. Mm. Spicy. Um, <laughs> all right, man. What else? I, what else, I, fellas? I appreciate the, the cleverness of it, but I question her, her moral fiber. <laughs> In hindsight, you're like, am I not good enough for you? The only problem with Shadow, you're not any good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're just going to jump me just like that? <laughs> you don't know what this was. Oh, Joke's man. on her. This. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking I am of too this, good. Yeah. I see no finger paintings you bring home, and they suck. <laughs> Speaking of uh, of loose morals <laughs> and strangeness, on this list, I just couldn't bear to throw it away. Was uh, was going through your crush's trash, evidently I, big enough to where they had to put it on the list, where lots of people. I have done talked this. about this at work today, and I don't know anybody that did this. Nobody. Well, I, I don't know, know anyone. I, that must be that must be a city thing. Yeah, shit. <laughs> I mean, well, like garbage or a piece of shit. Like I'm not going through either one of those. Like so. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking like weird, who man. who went through like you need help. Like <laughs> the majority of us don't do that. You need yeah. you need uh, whoever made that list needs help. Do you think that whoever made yeah. the list just threw that one in there just to be like I want to see if anyone he's like does anyone even read these? Surely they yeah. won't do a podcast on it. Surely, <laughs> there's no way they'll go probably, through each and every one of these with a five to go. You probably look under that under that uh, that article, and there's just like 25 comments about yeah. what the fuck what are you the talking fuck is about? wrong with you? What yeah, you yeah. Trash, nobody so. did this. So I think let you unanimously. Uh, well, none of us went through anybody's trash. Yeah. Um, so people in the 80s and 90s didn't do that. Yeah, and you know, someone that <laughs> someone that did, they're fucked up. There's something they're wrong. really messed up. <laughs> yeah. The majority of us them. never did that. Next, waiting patiently. This is a big one for MTV to play your favorite. Video, yeah, man. man. And that could also was... go two ways. That could go for the radio, waiting for the radio to play like your favorite song, yeah. or yes. waiting for MTV to play your favorite video. And because we, if you had, there was no way to get videos back then, right? I don't think they actually sold 
cassette oh, tapes so. with videos the and best, shit. So like the the best you could do was record it yourself right. when it played. So and like you either had the, the album that you could listen to, or you had to just find the video in like unless you recorded it. Because I remember you know what I do. That's another memory that was just about gone. It just Unlocked. snapped back. That's what we're good for. <laughs> set uh, set in the VCR to re- record blocks of videos. Oh yeah, man. Yes, because especially yes. like there was a. Uh, Yo MTV raps, uh, 108, was, like 120 yeah, minutes or whatever. That one, and then you had like the Headbangers Ball. Um, mm-hmm. You had just all all that stuff. Uh, BET After Dark was one that I would record frequently. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, now we're talking baby. spicy of me to ball. Uh, A so, man uh, of quality, I but see. No, man, you're right though. You would they would have these because MTV played videos back then. It wasn't mm-hmm. just. Jersey trash mm-hmm. throwing shit at each other for fucking twenty four hours a day. Mm-hmm. True, we but we take that for granted though because if you like a music video and like we both know, like all three of us know that that you know the music video can be something very 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 unique. Yeah, re- that is different from the song, right? Like if you have the song, there may be parts of the music video that you really really like because it was art. To some degree mm-hmm. back then, well, obviously. And even, like, I remember during band. the summer, there would be the summer songs and the summer videos. Like, even when I hear, yeah. like, Steal My Sunshine by Lynn or whatever, like, I Lynn, think of that yeah. fucking video, and I never heard anything else from him. Like, and, yeah. And um, access to celebrities didn't exist back then either. No, so zero. So, like, seeing that person was... Uh, you know, a treat in itself, kind of. Well, yeah, you didn't but, know what they looked I mean, like. like you, yeah, yeah, but... But you gotta think in the nineties, videos had Thick Janet. Mm. They had mm. they had Skinny Mariah. Yeah. Damn. Um, yeah. I know there's had, I know there's another I got th- you, big you ass had, girl somewhere, but Yeah. <laughs> well you had you had like the people that would treat you to art too, like Michael Jackson, Madonna. Yeah. They would do crazy wild Carmen things Electra in videos. treated me to art as well. Oh Carmen <laughs> Electra. <laughs> no, we're talking about scratch the shadow kitch. That yeah, <laughs> so that that thought was was not gone. <laughs> so she uh, was a so, place. but that was like the thing too is like you saying like you know, Thriller. The sound effects are on the actual album that are in the video. I assume the song mm-hmm. was first with the sound effects or whatever. But they all like connect mm-hmm. dots and make sense. And I just you know yeah, sure. black or white with like Michael Jackson. I remember like the little head thing you know at the end. Yeah, like, there's like the there's, anamorph. But it, Jeremy with Pearl Jam, like the cinematography, like him yeah. going crazy in the woods, and like yeah. all that stuff was great, man. And you yeah. now, like, I guess it's you know it's cool that you can just look it up on YouTube and watch it a Play million it as times. Many times. But as it's you want. but it, back then you didn't have that ability. Back then you did. Do not, you think you had to wait? Do you think Rodman hollowed her out? Oh, uh, for sure. Back well, then you had up. to earn it. <laughs> it's true like it's absolutely true and then, and so you had you didn't have the ability to just constantly replay and i think everyone nowadays like you just don't understand it's just like imagine if youtube lets you play a video one time and then you just had to catch it again you had to wait like another four hours five hours and i may not play it again blow- yeah, and they may not like you may not see it again if you didn't record it yourself. So I think we take it mm-hmm. advan- we take for granted the fact that we're able to instantly replay audio and video whenever we want to instantaneously because that yeah, wasn't that's a recent development. Imagine how much better you would retain knowledge if you had to put effort into finding <laughs> yeah, an answer. God. It I would mean- actually mean something to you. Wouldn't just be a fucking throw a garbage i mean like that's, garbage like garbage a piece of garbage. shit so i i know for me uh which is why i can survive in today's world is because that's how i got through school is i would just uh memorize stuff for like five minutes take the test and then delete my memory but that's what's happening mm-hmm. now though like i mean we we've, i've talked about it with you guys off air like when you binge a show you don't retain any of that almost like you need the recap in six yeah. months when the new season comes out but when you watched it episodically it was like all week you're thinking about, oh, shit, what are they going to do? Da, 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 da. Like you processed yeah. it and it marinated. It meant, yeah, it did. It marinated in your brain. You thought about it and you couldn't wait to see something yep. again. And the mm-hmm. anticipation meant something to you. And Chadwick and Chris are right. It's like you would retain more of it. And even now, like when's the last time you saw a recent video that you remember as well as 
and I'm talking to younger people too, not just, you know, the old men and women in the group, but you know, us like none of those videos mean this as much yeah. as the ones we saw coming no. up. And I wonder no. if a big portion of that was because we the had to wait for it. Yeah, the accessibility yeah, of how it. Much you and they would T V would have a big debut too, like hey it such and such debut in this new video. Yeah. And then I can't I can't think of any any video that hit me harder than Jeremy. Yeah, no, that one mm. still hits. Like, even when I went and watched it, if I'm buzzed and I'm watching Jeremy, like, there may be a, a tear or two squirt out. Like, watch yeah. that one just so good, man. Especially yeah. to, like, get through to us at, like, 15, 16, whatever we were. What, 14, maybe? Yeah. I don't even remember when that one came out. Uh, just so everybody knows, we're talking about Pearl Jam's song, Jeremy. Yeah, just mm-hmm. great song, yeah. great video. Look it up on YouTube. Watch it 500 times and fucking forget about it. All right, what's right. that? It's from the album 10. <laughs> Yeah, one of the best <laughs> albums ever, ever written in life. So uh, ever. Next uh, up, next we have, of course, something that is very, very near and dear to Be Kind. Let's rewind, and that would be rewinding a VHS tape. <laughs> rewinding, yeah. rewinding. So, rewinding. so if you had, so if you had an account at any video store, which you had to have to rent, mm-hmm. um, they you had your soul. <laughs> they I they would have money. a little. They'd have a little Maybe. sticker. On the on the cassette or the uh, VHS that said, "Be kind, please rewind." Yeah, and if you didn't rewind it, There's they would charge. give you. There was a little charge, a little mm-hmm. fee. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't remember how much that was though. It could have been more than a dollar or two, but it was yeah. definitely like. And I don't think they. I think they didn't often enforce it because uh, I. I mean, but I was a pretty good kid, so we would always rewind. Um, we were always kind. But, like, they also, it was always wild to me that, like, you know, in the store, you get it. They got the rewinders. You know, those eventually became a thing. Their sole purpose, it wasn't a VCR or whatever. These things just rewound videos. Put yeah. it in, it yeah. would rewind it for you so they could put them back on the shelves. But uh, mm-hmm. I remember there would be some people's house I would go to, some richer f- friends or whatever, and they would have freaking those in their house. And I'm like, really? Like, what are you, what are you, are you watching so many movies that you don't have time to five minutes because it took a while sometimes man to rewind like let's not like gloss over i was that. told <clears throat> yeah. i was told the reason they had those rewinding machines was because rewinding it could it was slowly wearing the vcr out and damaging it uh, like that's what i've been that's what i was okay. told back then because i had one a friend who i was like why do you just rewind it from your normal like yeah. all vcrs could rewind Right. Obviously, otherwise you couldn't rewatch anything, right? Right. So it was like, well, the earlier ones I remember. Hold on, let me correct myself. The early ones actually couldn't. You had to play them all the way through, and then, like, there was some sort of, um, I, maybe it was the machine or something. It, but, but at any rate, um, you had to like rewind machines, and I and the later ones that could do everything, yeah, it, it would just wear them out. So they would and. I just want to say, too, the reason that, and I know y'all have, you had to have had a moment where you rented a video and it wasn't rewound. Yeah. And you oh, yeah. played it and it was at the end with the credits. Yeah. And then you had to put it, you had to literally hit rewind on it and then it would pull back and it would be on the screen, et yeah. cetera, et cetera. You have to turn your television off. Yeah. So that you wouldn't well, see it. Well, you had the regular rewind if you're like you're holding it down, but you could stop, stop and, it, and, rewind. and rewind. Stop it, it and then but rewind. Either it. way, yeah. though, like you're sitting down ready to watch a movie, and now, I mean, it took five to ten minutes to yeah. rewind a movie, depending on how long it was. So it would take a long time to rewind this thing. So you could have your popcorn ready, holes cut out, ready for action, and then uh, on your bucket, and then you sit down, mm-hmm. and then. Up, oh, gotta rewind it. Now you look third like of the way through. Naked and afraid. Yeah, them naked and afraid like my wife. <laughs> you almost, you almost <laughs> just shit. <laughs> um. Don King, yuck, yuck, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, day, it's my dream that that guy sees this. So uh, let's uh, let's say seg- let's go ahead and segue into. I, I'm sure it's on your list there, Leaf. Uh, mm-hmm. Going to rent videos. Yep, that was a big one, man. That was mm-hmm. huge. So that was uh, that was one that was uh, like we talked about with the mall. That was kind of an event, but it, it was. Uh, I know I never had the relationship. You know, you talk to see interviews with Kevin Smith and guys like that that used to. They had a big relationship with the clerks and stuff at the video store, or they worked at the video store. I never had that, but I remember going with my friends like Leaf or your brother. 
your parents would drop you off. It's like, okay, we'll get a movie and a game. And then it'd be like Friday. And so you'd have yeah. it for the yes. weekend and then they'd return it on uh, Monday or whatever. And that was like the, the, you would, you would go in, you'd see what movie you want to get, hope that it's Dude. in stock. The video game was the other, was the big important one. Like all yeah. week, you know, you're looking forward to renting that one game. Uh, you get there, and then it's some asshole from Fashionable Mail has got the last copy. So, so Absolutely. when you went in, did you go straight to the the game or the movie that you're looking for, or did you go to the return pile first? Uh, I, we went straight to the games first, then to the return pile. Um, but probably going to the return pile first was because you had to. Sometimes they would be cool with it, and sometimes they wouldn't. I remember at Blockbuster, they would be like, "I'd be like, can you see if this is in the returns or whatever?" And they yeah. would just be like, "It's not." And not look, and I'm like, you suck. I bet you're going to gain 300 pounds and tell a fucking naked and afraid joke in like 30 years. Mm -hmm. You are. You really are. <laughs> and here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've come full circle. Yuck, 100%. yuck. So, um, I would, Shadow, what memories do you have on that, man? <clears throat> Honestly, I'm sitting here thinking about, um, remember they had like the new releases were priced a little bit higher yeah. Then the ones that had been out for maybe three months, and then there was like another tier. Mm -hmm. I, I think that was like my first like learning example of like uh, capitalism and inflation. Like, because I remember the price going from two dollars to two and a quarter to two seventy five. Now, was this to, a, a mom and pop uh, version, or was this like a blockbuster? You remember? Uh, well, blockbuster would kind of do it first and then okay. the mom and pops would eventually like have to catch, catch up. up gotcha mm -hmm. but yeah yeah uh, true. But yeah i remember that it was they had the usually a three-tier system mm -hmm. on on the pricing yeah so and, and the new release is always they'd have you know it seemed like 15 or 20 copies i don't know if it was more than that less than that but it'd sometimes be like a massive I felt like it was less than that it was a massive wall it got to a massive wall i remember like big big movies at the end when they were doing dvds and stuff it would just be like <coughs> yeah <coughs> and i don't know i don't know if anyone who worked at like blockbuster i don't know how that was decided like how like you're right chris is right there were there were times when the entire wall like when Titanic came out, right? I yeah. remember, and it would vividly, be the I think, double tape, double DVD, well, or whatever. That, that had to have been um, reciprocated from like box, box office, office yeah. So they had to, they had the box office mm. number, so they, I think they just said because I mean you're not because us like we we're going for like you know your your dirt comedies and shit like that or you know action movies like we would get the mainstream stuff here and there, but I think we could wait for those to come down in price. We were really kind of i know like when i got older when i was in like you know 17 18 i had my own blockbuster card and i was really balling like i would be looking for like comedies stuff that i hadn't really heard of before and kind of introduced yeah. me to some stuff so but yeah that's yeah. like so those of course had like one or two so they couldn't really predict cult followings but the big ones yeah like he said titanic it was like mm -hmm. massive rollout everybody was going to rent that movie because i guess they had never heard of what happened in it um, what I don't else, know. It's what else mystery. Was, what else was big? Like the bodyguard. I think we were in eighth grade when that came out. Yeah. Oh, and they would have um, they yeah. would have uh, cardboard cutouts too. Oh yeah, just like movie oh, theater. Man. Like they would have specialized ones yeah. for the video release. It yeah. was always cool, man. It was always a cool, fun experience. Having a uh, funny answering machine message. <laughs> anybody? Anybody? Uh, back in the day, when you would, uh, when people would actually call Ooh. and not just text, uh, so, they were. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have my own answer machine. I well, maybe I did, but no, I, I didn't do that. Uh, I do remember the ringback tones on mm -hmm. yeah on cell phones. So that was a big thing. So that was a little yes. a little later, but. Uh, yeah, you get pretty funny with those. I remember my first apartment, which was right past the nineties. We're in the two thousands. Me and my roommate, uh, shout out Sean. We would uh, do a different video or shout out, shout out Sean's mom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shout out Zah Sean. Um, but we would go uh, and do a different message every week, and so, but it would be yeah. our shitty impressions or whatever we're doing, and the jokes would be awful. But the worst part was like. Like I worked at the movie theater, so they would. I was the manager, so they would have to call periodically, but they would have to wait for like the thirty to forty-five, sometimes a minute-long message that we did doing bad impressions back and forth. And you could, it, you know, when like 
if you're at home and you hear like the answer machine pick up, you can hear them. I remember hearing like our friend Flash, like if the answer machine starts going and I just hear an audible. <sighs> this audible sigh of like, God damn it, man. <laughs> and, uh, oh that, that's so that's so good. Even if you weren't doing anything, if <laughs> just just to make the whole Oh, they have to run before before they yeah. can leave a message. God, they yeah, were the whole... so mad. And friends <laughs> hated it so That's fucking it. much, man. So uh, yeah. I remember I had I had one. This is my favorite one that I can remember. In just pure Tom Green fashion, it was just me screaming. That's just what it was. That's all it was. It was just like ah, ah, ah. And I could hear people like it's, sometimes. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, when it would play, like you said, people could hear it. You could hear, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, like people would be scared. My, and my mom made me change it. She's like, uh. you take that off. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Really yeah. you, bro. His, his mom's like, now leave. You're, my friends down at the church are worried about you. Yeah, that's oh, basically it. It's mention time, baby. That's pretty that's fairly true yes yeah, she's like um, what pastor calls and she hears you screaming mama well, leaf had some voice. bass in her voice she did be like uh maybe pastor should have been standing she, there what? um <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the last two the last two we got to do at least two more because there's there's some good ones uh being gone all day without a cell phone what was that like gentlemen Guys, regalis of the tale let me just start with this i don't know what i used to do when I was taking a shit before I had a cell phone, I had yeah. I, I had Iron Man magazines. <laughs> um, uh, what was it? Muscular development. Oh, nice. Max. You remember Maxim? Yeah, that was a good oh, yeah. one. Oh, mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. F. Yeah. What was it? F H N. F. Scott no, Fitzgerald. No. Um, I had a uh, H H P V. <laughs> Arizona State University. <laughs> um, we had a. Uh, I don't think I had magazines in my bathroom, man. I think I was just a very, I was a notoriously fast pooper back then, too, because I didn't want to waste time. You were somehow. That still <laughs> boggles my mind. I don't know how you could go to the bathroom so fast. I, I used to read EGM. Old Man Rivers. Did you? Sorry. I used to read Nintendo Power. Nice. nice. Video I had a Game, game Pro, and then I uh, probably had, like, a Sports Illustrated Kids or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't really read it a lot. Like, but again, I didn't have it in the bathroom, but I do remember, mm -hmm. speaking of magazines, we had this one uh, teacher with, like, a big southern accent, and so, like, it's so like when I was in seventh grade, we had our video game nerd group over there. And so mm -hmm. like we would be reading these magazines and stuff. And he's like, that magazine group over there. And I was like, God, God. say God, basically. God dang video yeah. games. Them damn yeah. kids over there with their goddamn video games. <laughs> oh. I, re I think it, despite the fact that the magazine and the, and the, the bathroom moments, I remember it was strange looking back now. And remembering having a cell phone when I turned like sixteen or seventeen, but not really being able to use it because yeah, of minutes. Some minutes, yeah, and yeah. yeah, and so like it was on on car rides. You would just be alone. There would be. Can you no imagine way to today's you, parents man? like not being able? Like your kid's gone. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> like you go. <laughs> you know, but you know what? When you're For, out, before you're we out. had when we had to spend all day without a cell phone. I don't remember anyone talking about anxiety. Yeah, that's true. Like, because back then, uh, we would just bury it deep down inside. Stuff it down with some brown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, my, the only thing I knew as far as anxiety was in Beetlejuice when when, uh, when Beetlejuice was like, I'm, ooh. I'm feeling a little uh, ooh, anxious, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and, he walk, and he walks over to the whorehouse. Yeah. The whorehouse, I was, I was like, yeah. oh. so, I you so really it, stressed back then. So if you feel anxious, you got to fuck something. Shadwick is like, I feel anxious a lot too, Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for feel, teaching me. I'm anxious right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Shadwick. That's good. Yeah. That's good for us We're, to know. Where religion I'm, and parenting I'm, failed, Beetlejuice succeeded. Yeah. Thank you, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'm still wearing my anxious pants right now. <laughs> Bring in the southpaw. All right. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, it was wild. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to hear. Like, dude, there's there's a lot of stories. Like, we would just go, would like, we would be, like, get up, eat breakfast, go play outside all effing day, maybe come back for lunch. 
go back outside. We, me and Leaf sometimes would just yeah. sit outside and shoot basketball for like five and six hours. Yeah, or, our man. cell phones weren't going off. Chris wasn't checking his texts. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't looking shit up on Google. Like we just, we just so, lived our lives without probably, access. Probably my. Uh, also, listen my to us on YouTube year. and Spotify. <laughs> My, uh, <laughs> probably my freshman year was like my favorite summer because uh, I lived in this neighborhood for a couple of years. What was her got, name? Got, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say her name. Mm-hmm. She the has law, a name. The law prohibits it. Nice. No, but uh, we, we lived in this neighborhood for a couple of years, and I, I got to know like all the kids that I went to school with that like lived in there. The, it was one that had like a community pool. Mm-hmm. So... Like everybody just knew about ten forty five, eleven o'clock in the morning all summer long was oh, like nice. we'd be there, hang out till you know, two o'clock, mm-hmm. whatever, go grab something whatever. to eat, right back. Yeah, that's we used awesome. to Yeah, we used to, uh, to get in into the uh, pool like after hours. Yeah. So it, would, so it was fenced off, you know, and they would <laughs> yeah. they would uh, lock the gate or whatever. Lock the gate. But we would Climb over the fence and get onto the pump house that was probably okay. six feet yeah. from the edge, and then we dive in. Oh, nice! Yeah, we're fucking, Very nice. we're fucking stupid. <laughs> hey, you any one of us, any one but, of us could have slipped and fucking died. Broke your neck, and yeah. But there it was, and a lot of times your parents expected you to call like and find a flight to let them know where you were. Which is hilarious because mm-hmm. oh, like, dude, you, yeah. Do you remember the furious like pedaling your bike trying to get home? Oh, dude, in time, dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. You either have oh. to call or be home by this time. Yep, yeah. And you're, and you're waiting for to the last second for your friend's dad to say, "No, you can't eat with us tonight." And you're like, "God <laughs> damn it, last, I gotta go home." <laughs> the last second. Oh, they said no. I had to rush home. Yeah. I just saw, <gasps> It was, Jeez. but they didn't care, dude. Your parents didn't care. They're like, you should have found a phone, man. Yeah, like, sure. You should have, you should have done something. Oh, it was, was like so much fun. Yeah, it was so dude. much fun, man. I and in that, that same vein, last but not least, wearing a pager, ladies and gentlemen, the so, the solution, the solution to what we were just complaining about and talking about. Yeah, Chris, I know, I never actually had a pager. I was one of the not. last motherfuckers one. on the planet that didn't sell drugs that still had a pager. I believe <laughs> I got rid of that thing in 2002. You got to explain why that was a thing, though. I, so I mean, I was, I was pretty close. Like 2000, y'all 2001. Close. So I want I want y'all to speak on why people assumed if you had a pager, you were selling so drugs. So when you had a pager, it basically was a cheap half ass cell phone. Now, again, this is back in the cell phone minute era like where it was like it cost money every time you picked up the phone to call so mm-hmm. a pager was this device in your pocket it's basically like a text message except it would just be a number so someone would call you uh they would or they would call this number and then you could punch in your number which would send it to your pager and people thought you sold drugs because a lot of drug dealers had them because all their hookups would page them and then they would go sell them drugs because it was an easy non-traceable and you had to use a pay, a pay phone or, or a landline or whatever to call these people. So it's really not super efficient, but they are starting to get to where we are now with the affordable cell phone era or whatever. Um, right. Shadwick, you got any inner pager stories? I have a good pager story that we'll end the entire show on, but <laughs> I just want to say before y'all say that, since I never had one, there was a list of pager codes oh, and yeah. I've got a couple of websites that show the old school pager codes and what they meant. If you want to just, yeah, man, if Chris wants to post that, yeah, dude, there's, dude, I'll put them. Yeah, I'm going to hit on one of those in a second, but I've got a, a pager and, uh, do you remember the, the bagged, uh, car phones? They were in like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, um, it was like, the family's phone. It wasn't my phone. Right. So if I was going to be gone and mom and dad were at home, I took the phone with me. Right. Along with my pager. It was an emergency thing. Right. So I remember I, I must have been sophomore, I guess. And I went on a date with a girl on a weeknight and I went to a basketball game. She was one or two years older than me. So I was like, you know, Really into it. Oh, yeah, yeah, like want sure. the night. I didn't want the night to end or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
and I was supposed to be home, I think, at 10. <laughs> and I blew past that, like, bad. Quick. And But my dad's like, he started paging me, like, shortly after 10. I had to, I had to hit a girl, like, to Dalton or something that night. Yeah. So I had that drive back. So after I dropped her off, I was already late. Then he starts paging me, and I can't find the phone anywhere. So it ended up, I had, I had left that phone, however much it cost back then, at McDonald's in the oh booth. Oh, my God. No. Yeah. Yeah. Was it, so, was it there when you went back? It was there when I went back. Woo. I had... I had as many missed calls as I did pages, and <laughs> and it was not pretty. That was I, a shatty no moment brought to you by the kind. Let's rewind. No. Shatty no. Yep, it was. So it I'll, was a very bad. I'll <laughs> end this with a. We talked about me doing the movie line pro, prank and all that thing. So yes. there was. So when you had a pager, say say the say it was like five five three seven seven one eight or something was like your number. You could, mm. I found out somebody that had the same type of pager as me. Mine was 7718, theirs was 7719. And I was like, wait a minute. So I was like, okay, so there's probably 7701, 7702, all mm. these things. So there was this fat guy that used to come to the movie theater. And uh, he used to. Louie Anderson. <laughs> he used, look, uh, somebody probably knows him and this is whatever. Look, the guy was not very nice to us. He was always like. He was not kind and did not rewind in the movie theater. Tried to get like he did not. Tried to get Leaf to sue us over some shit. But anyway, he had the two canes that he would walk Ro with. Roger Ebert? <laughs> he basically. He had two canes and he was handicapped, much like I was. And do you remember what we called him? I believe his name was Two Cane Sam. There it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so his name was Two Cane Sam. So he left a card. <laughs> I believe with Leaf saying that if he wanted to sue us for discrimination or something. So Leaf in turn gives me the card. And I was of course I earlier that day. I was like, I remember this pager thing. Well, I'll be damned if this motherfucker didn't have his home phone number on this. So we went down from every prefix 7701. His number, 911. 7702, <laughs> his number, 911. And we started at 1130 at night, and we had four people on phones upstairs all calling, like, set major numbers, 911. So this dude's phone rang off the fucking hook the entire night. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, so. Damn, that's uh, good. Uh, yep. A little nefarious back then. Still got a little bit of that in me, so uh, tread lightly. Uh, so, Leaf, dog. Leaf, you mentioned uh, the codes that you could send, and I can't remember any of them, but I know That's one right. of them was supposed to mean I love you. Yeah. And so, where where that breaks down is, what if that message could be coming from more than one person? Yeah. Like, I mean. Then, so, yeah. yeah. So, when you see whoever, well, you just, like, you just don't mention code. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, you you could get in some you could get in some deep shit. It was not it was technology that was that was just at the cusp when I cell could phone text Chadwick to with a, a girl's number and the code for "I love you," like yeah. I could send that, and he doesn't know who called that, so he just gets it, yeah. like thinks it's his girlfriend, maybe an ex, maybe some whatever, and now who the knows? game is on. So the uh, game is on. You 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 could get into a lot of shit. With with this, it wasn't perfect. So you're absolutely right, as Chris said. There was nefarious hijinks all around. We I could stand, tell more I stand stories. By that, no yeah, doubt. I stand by that prank. But uh, good that's one. a good one. It was a good one. Um, well, guys, I, this was actually pretty fun. So I appreciate us all doing this and going along with a good little change of pace episode. So we're gonna do it again. That for with sure. that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take it over to our Norm Macdonald clip of the week. Judge Ito was interviewed this week by a local TV station in Los Angeles. Asked by the interviewer if it was appropriate for a supposedly impartial judge to be on TV with his case still pending, Ito said, maybe not, but how appropriate is it to kill your ex-wife? 